even today, many people think that if they are good enough, that they're going to go to heaven. That if I will, that I can, that in some form or fashion, that they think they can earn their way to heaven. And it's simply not true. I remember before I got saved, before I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior, I really thought that if I could be good enough, that I would get to God, I would get to heaven. And all of the sins and all of the wrongdoing that I had done, uh, that somehow God would just say, well, your, your good has outweighed your bad, so therefore uh, come into my kingdom. And somehow I thought if I could be good enough and I could measure up to that level, that I would get into heaven and God would just forgive all of the other things and all the other negative things that I've done. Uh, but the truth is, is that's not what the Bible teaches. Uh, because the Bible says that we're all sinners and that we are all to be judged for our sin unless there's a, a mediator, unless there's a redeemer and who, who can save us from our sins. And that person happens to be Jesus Christ. He is our Redeemer. He is our Mediator. He is our High Priest. He is the ultimate sacrifice. He was the Lamb of God who was sacrificed before the foundation of the world. I mean, God planned for man to send Jesus as the answer to sin's dilemma. And He's the answer to our problems today. He's the answer to sin. He's the answer to racism. He's the answer to iniquity. Jesus because the, the, blood of Jesus blur, the blood of Jesus washes away all of our sins. The blood of Jesus washes away our iniquities. The blood of Jesus redeems us. The blood of Jesus washes away. The blood of Jesus, as one minister put it, blurs through the racial lines. It, blurs, it, it actually it washes away the racial lines. Because when God looks at you, He sees the blood of Jesus. He doesn't see black or white or yellow, or red. He doesn't see any of that. He sees His Son in you. He sees the blood of Jesus. See, friends, we're made in the image and likeness of God, and we bear those communicable attributes from Almighty God, things like love and kindness and goodness, and those things are inherent inside of us, and that, that's what makes us like God. And it's the blood of Jesus that redeems us and saves us and sanctifies us. So when God looks at you, he doesn't see Jew or Gentile or black or white or male or female. He sees a new creature, a new creation. That's why at the end of Galatians, Paul says, I'm not going to boast about anything except the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ by whom I am crucified unto the world and the world is crucified unto me. And he says, and there, there is neither Jew nor Gentile nor Greek nor barbarian. He says, but no, but Christ is all all and in all. That's what this is about. And so the blood of Jesus is the only thing that can sanctify and save and set us free, friends. And I just implore you today, receive him as your Lord and Savior. And just be mindful of that and know that only through his blood can we be saved. And there's no amount of good works that you can do to save yourself. There's no amount of good works that I can do. And in fact, the Bible says that our righteousness in the eyes of God, like what we could do in ourselves and on our own, through our own merit, the Bible says that our righteousness is as filthy as rags. I mean, that's just horrible. I remember years ago, I was sitting down with a friend and I was sharing the gospel with him and, he, and I said, the Bible teaches that we're sinners and that we need to be saved by Jesus and uh, it's through his blood that we're saved. I was preaching this message, essentially, and he just looked at me and he said, I haven't sinned in six months. And I said, I'm sorry, but you just sinned like three minutes ago when you started cursing. And then he's like, oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. So we've all sinned. I'm sure you, you probably sinned today. You probably sinned yesterday. Little things, things that you're not even aware of. So it's, it's our sins that need to be forgiven. And the only thing that brings forgiven, forgiveness of, of our sins is the blood of Jesus. So friends, you have to receive Jesus if you're going to get into heaven. There's no other way. Salvation is found in no other person or thing under heaven except the name of Jesus. Jesus is our Savior. And I just encourage you, if you've never made him your Lord and your Savior, just say, Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord, be my Savior. Forgive me of my sins. I invite you into my heart. I believe that God raised you from the dead. I confess with my mouth that you are Lord. And you'll be saved. That's what the Bible says. And all who put their faith in him will not be confounded or ashamed. 